Some people have put forth the thought that the Bible has been superseded, that somehow the previous revelations of Allah have been canceled out, that they are mansukh, that means they have been abrogated. But are they right? Is this what the Quran teaches? In Surah Al-Nahl, uh, in Ayah 101, it tells us that Allah is sovereign and will cancel out one sign, one ayah, and replace it by another. Some have wanted to take that as a statement that it's not talking about one verse, but it's talking about all the previous revelations. But there is nothing in that text that says that it was a kitab. It doesn't say it's a kitab. It says it was an ayah, a sign. Furthermore, there is a vast body of hadith that again and again and again show us that what was meant by this process of abrogation. When something comes to abrogate, nansakh, and that which is abrogated, al-mansukh, that when that process took place, it was definitely within a limited scope. It was about a phrase or a verse or a passage of several verses, which the Quran says was replaced by something else from Allah. And the Hadith confirms this and gives an abundance of examples. So to say that the abrogation process has to do with former dispensations or former books is to deny the whole of the teaching in the Hadith.